Hi guys, as you can see, uh, we've got a rather large box and uh, I've been really sort of uh, looking forward to this one. Uh, it's, it's something that I haven't bought lightly. Um, I really had to think about this for a long time and weigh up a lot of pros and cons uh, before I actually uh, decided to buy this. And I know I'm going to get a bit of hate and I'm also going to get some... Um, some good strong debate at the end of the day in the in the comments because um, you know it, it is an expensive buy uh, and it could have been done a lot cheaper but with nowhere near as much class guys that's the way I see it and it's not just that it's a case of you know I'm getting more than one thing here now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lift this straight out I don't know if you can see that and there you go guys one thunderbolt display well i tell you what guys that was one hell of a fight getting that out of the box the uh, the suction was uh, quite intense really got a small ding on the end of the box here actually uh, but it's not too bad. I'm going to have to catch my breath. <laughs> so anyway guys, these are uh, obviously designed to run from a MacBook, although they can be run from Windows as well. I know people uh, do occasionally run them from Windows builds. And uh, it's a 27 inch display. Um, you know, and they've, they've <laughs> the thing is, you plug this in, it powers your MacBook and then gives you extra expandability on the back. So you, you're getting a dock as well as an extra display and a bigger display at that, of course. So, you know, and it can be used with a Mac Mini, a Mac Pro. So there's plenty of room for me to go, even though I dare say it is going to change very soon, uh, especially now that uh, they're going with this uh, USB-C. So obviously the Thunderbolt display could very well become a USB-C display, um, but that remains to be seen, of course. And of course, it didn't get a an upgrade with the uh, with, with the iMac. It didn't go with the slimmer design. So anyway, we get straight away in the top. You get designed by Apple in California, and that obviously is going to have, I'm guessing, instructions, Apple stickers, that sort of thing. So I'll open that. We'll just have a quick click inside. And yes, it is exactly as I thought. It's uh, a big book on it, quite a thick book actually. Uh, warranty. Oh, and uh, you get your little uh, MagSafe adapter, uh, obviously for the because uh, of course it's uh, changed, hasn't it, from the older style. Uh, didn't see any stickers in there. How bizarre! What? I'm going to cry. No stickers. Right. So let's put that to one side and we'll get take this piece off the top it's so carefully packed is their stuff it's it's quite amazing really how it all fits together and so here it is guys um out of the box finally it uh, takes some shifting i can tell you that much uh, so let's get this cover off uh, the screen let's uh, have a look at that big glossy screen that is a glossy screen uh, which doesn't particularly bother me I actually quite like glossy screens I'll have to take that off later actually as I lift it up it's just a bit of film over the foot actually right so that's that yeah I do actually like glossy screens they, they don't bother me at all and uh, uh, oh it's got an extra plastic cover on it as well and of course you get eyesight camera built into these um, got its own I just got a static shot there <laughs> Got its own um, speakers, microphone, all built in. So obviously you can do FaceTime and all that sort of thing. Now the microphone's actually right there and the iSight camera is right in front of it. So I'm assuming that uh, camera picks up, the microphone picks up very well, I'm assuming. So. Blimey, this. Uh, 
this is taking some shifting trust me guys finally got it undressed so let's put that in the box and put those over there and there we have it there's that big glossy screen and it tilts so easily as well the uh, the movement on there is so smooth it's I really do like that it's, it's a lot smoother than I thought it would be than I ever imagined actually obviously we get the power cable for it uh, which UK 3 pin because I'm UK of course and then you like a bit like a kettle plug basically isn't it it's just got this round bit added on to obviously fit in a hole in the body on the back of the display and then we get this one that comes out of the back now this stays attached now I do know you can buy these as a replacement uh, I've seen them on eBay and what have you so because one of the common faults with these is for this piece of cable just here and I can never understand why Apple didn't do that you've already got that which is what they used to have of course for the old um, you know that was that was the old sort of MagSafe uh, which is what I've got on my MacBook but of course I've got the converter for if I uh, replace my MacBook and then you've got the Thunderbolt here and I can never understand why they didn't you know that's going to go in like that say the MacBook's here that's going to go like that and then that's got to go like that so why didn't they just put a an angled you know it just would have made so much more sense really uh, that's one of the big letdowns I think with it myself uh, but um, no, this is going to be absolutely fantastic when I get this on my desk. Uh, I'm so, so pleased with it. It's, uh, I've waited so long for this, guys. I really have. So let's turn it around and have a look at the back anyway. So there you have it at the back. Now, obviously, this uh, can be removed. There is a special way to remove it uh, for if you want to uh, get a vase mount and uh, put it on a stand or whatever. There's the... Uh, there's the uh, port, the cable there with the uh, MagSafe and Thunderbolt that goes to the MacBook. And then obviously on the back here you've got more ports. Below obviously you've got your big Apple logo there. But uh, down the back here we've got three USB 2 ports. Um, a Firewire 800. A Thunderbolt expansion port. So I can add, you can daily chain more displays or you can uh, add say Thunderbolt accessories like maybe a hard drive or something and uh, an ethernet port so you know i don't need to add like the uh, the ethernet port to my macbook anymore for hardwiring to the uh, internet so there you go guys um let me know what you think in the comments underneath you know there are cheaper ways to do it yeah i could have bought probably three displays for the price of this um you wouldn't have had the same docking with it you'd have ended up with a lot more cables lying around your desk so obviously this looks a hell of a lot more classy and does a, a more than one job all in one go. Um, so, you know, it's what I wanted at the end of the day, you know, and nobody's going to tell me, you know, nobody's going to tell me that uh, I made a bad decision. You know, people will think I made a bad decision, but in my books, I didn't. I'm happy with what I've got and uh, it's going to look... Uh, fabulous on my desk so there you go guys uh, leave your arguments <laughs> leave your arguments in the uh, comments section underneath the video and uh, you know subscribe to me you know let me know what you think okay cheers guys see you in the next one